Hey, what's up guys? Coach Josh here from ASAP Fitness in Sacramento. Just wanted to go over a couple of things this week for our Spartan tips. Uh, this week we're gonna start incorporating the run program and teach you guys how to properly layer on a run program on top of your current fitness routine. So you guys already currently go to the gym, you cross train, uh, you come to one of our facilities. Uh, what we need to do now is, as Spartan season's getting a little bit closer, I know a lot of you guys are signed up and wanna do some of the sprints, supers, and some of you guys are going as far as the beast. What we need to talk about is how to layer that program on top of your current training routine uh, so we can add in some running. Obviously guys, Spartan Racing, uh, the name itself tells you everything. So it's racing, it's gonna be a foot race. If we're not putting a little extra time in to actually work on our running, uh, we're gonna run into some major issues. Uh, we're gonna be able to conquer the obstacles if we're strong enough and we're getting all our strength training, but we're gonna find that it ends up becoming quite a bit of a race. So if we're not putting in that time, uh, it's gonna be very difficult for you guys to finish the race in like a, a competitive time, or if you guys just wanna complete it, it's a lot more fun when you finish a little bit faster rather than just walking most of the race. So what we're gonna talk about is the three types of runs that I really like to focus on with all of my clients as well as myself. All right, so first, let's get into the three different types of runs that we're gonna do each week. First, we have the speed work, which is gonna get us faster. Then we have our tempo run, which is gonna increase our lactic threshold. Then we have our long run, which is gonna build endurance and help us finish that race no matter what the distance is. So with those three runs in mind, we need to kind of look at our week. We have seven days in a training week. Uh, we might be training anywhere from three to six days on top of that. So what we're gonna do with the run program is the run program is designed, I designed them all myself over the past seven years. Uh, I've messed with them numerous times and kind of dialed them into a volume that is doable on top of a CrossFit or a fitness program. So if you're doing any type of cross training, these are meant to be layered on top of that. So I keep the volume relatively low, so you're not crushing yourself on the pavement or on the trails four or five days a week. It's just three days a week with the volume in mind that you're still training on top with of that. The three different so. types of running, we wanna make sure these are done on non-consecutive days. Uh, what I mean by that is we're gonna do our runs on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, or we can do any two days during the week that are non-consecutive and then any day on the weekend for your long run. What I like to do, I like to do my speed work at the beginning of the week. So on Monday or Tuesday, I add in my speed work and you could do that before or after your current fitness program. So wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, um, just make sure you add it in before or after. It's not that much volume and it's not gonna trash your central nervous system enough to affect your actual training. As long as there's a 15 minute window in between where you can recover, you're gonna be fine. For the next run of the week on a non-consecutive day, so let's say I get my speed work in on Monday, then on Wednesday I would come back for my tempo work. Now the tempo work can take a little bit more time because we, depending on what distance you're going for, uh, we might need to increase the miles as the weeks go. Uh, so what that one's gonna look like is you wanna do that with uh, about a three hour gap at least in between your training time uh, your normal cross training and your run time. So for example, I would get up in the morning, uh, get my tempo work done, then I would go on about my work day and I would do my workout, my cross training in the afternoon. Uh, as far as the long run goes, I really like to set that one aside completely. Um, I like to pick a Saturday or Sunday where I know I'm not gonna do any cross training and just bang out the long run. Uh, let's say I'm training for a beast and I need to get in a 12 mile training run at the end of the cycle as I'm getting closer to the beast. Um, that's a lot of work in one day. It's gonna take an hour, hour and a half. Um, and I really probably not gonna have the energy to train on top of that. Uh, so that's how I would layer up my week. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the speed work. I'm gonna give you guys an example of our 5K run program, this three days per week. Uh, it's set up to be an eight week template. So if you have, let's say a Spartan sprint or a 5K race, local race coming up, you wanna set this up to exactly eight weeks. So on the eighth week, that weekend, that would be your race date. And then you would just backtrack from there, put it on your calendar and you would start the run program. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clip in right now a little um, a sample one. Um, don't pay attention to the paces at the bottom. That's all dialed in for things I'm doing. What I want you guys to do is, if you're gonna try one of these programs, I want you to email me at fasterstrongerproject at gmail.com. I can help you find your current paces um, and we can really dial it in for you individually. Everyone needs to kind of have their own individual plan. Uh, everyone will be following the same template, but if you wanna get the best results for your running guys, you really wanna talk to a coach and get that dialed in for you and your goals. So let's start going over the 5K run plan. This is gonna be good for 5Ks or anyone looking to do a Spartan. So here we have the run plan. Uh, if we look at the middle column labeled track and interval, that's gonna to correlate to our speed work. So the first number is gonna be how many times you're gonna do uh, that interval. The second number uh, labeled with the M is gonna be how many meters you're gonna be doing per interval. So if we use week one, for example, you will do two 800 meter repeats, 
plus two 400 meter repeats. We're trying to do these uh, repeats at a very fast pace. Uh, you're trying to push it a lot faster than your actual race pace. For you guys that are uh, new to running, I want you to rest two minutes in between each interval. For you guys that have been running for a while or really trying to push the pace and get really good at endurance, I want you guys to jog a recovery 400 meter pace in between every interval for all eight weeks. So if you have any questions, once again, just let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to help you guys out with that. All right, guys, so now that we've gone over the 5K training plan, I hope you guys have a little bit better idea of what a training plan looks like. Um, I have training plans for 5K, 10K, half marathon, and full marathon distances. They are all three days a week. Uh, they all have a similar structure to the one I just showed you with the 5K plan. Uh, once again, if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact me at fasterstrongerproject at gmail.com or stop by ASAP Fitness in Sacramento, 1338 Street. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates on Spartan Tips every Thursday and make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Thanks guys. See you on the next one.